Before we get started, I just wanted to mention real quick that we just passed 100 subscribers. And I just wanted to say thank you to all the people who have subscribed, liked, commented, and viewed. Every single view means so much to me, so thank you. With that, let's get right into the video. Howdy y'all, welcome back to the channel. My name is Andrew. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at the new Cyberpunk update 2.1 on the RTX 4070. There is apparently some uh, performance upgrades. The path tracing has come out of preview. So we're gonna take a look at that. And also you can do ray reconstruction outside of just the path tracing mode. So that'll be interesting to take a look at. Let's get right into it. All right, here we are in Cyberpunk on the RTX 4070. Let's just take a look at our settings real quick. We're at 1440, and let's start at the ray tracing ultra setting with DLSS quality. We do not have frame generation or ray reconstruction on, and our 4070 is just at stock settings, and we've got a 13700K, which just has a minuscule overclock, which shouldn't affect anything for this. So at Ray Tracing Ultra, we're getting quite good performance at 1440p Ray Tracing Ultra with DL DLSS quality. Um, this game has come so far in how it performs and um, it's really nice to see that. This is such a, uh, it just plays really smooth and nice. Oh my god, stop, dude. <laughs> Not that bad. Yeah, so uh, just driving through the city in the 60s. Um, and it's also like just a, a quite a smooth 60s experience. And uh, that, yeah, that's to be expected, right? Um, on a 4070, I would hope so at 1440. But I want to get to an area where there's lots of like uh, reflection stuff. Oh, like that. Part of the whole deal with this 2.1 update is lots of gameplay stuff. There is supposedly like um, a new, a whole new transportation system, a metro system that you can do. Okay, let's just get rid of these. Hey! <laughs> uh, yeah, there's a whole new metro system with like tons of stops. Which is... oh, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, there's a bunch of additions, but I'm really interested in the uh, kind of tech stuff that's going on. <laughs> As I shoot these. Okay. Oh my god, is that everyone? Please. I guess that was my fault. But I want to go up here. Oh my god, there's more guys. Okay. <laughs> this seems like it might work right up here. Ooh, yeah, look at this. So, just as a reminder, this is 1440p RT Ultra DLSS quality. This is not frame generation, and this is without ray reconstruction. So let's take a look at this. Let's just line this up. And right in this spot, we're getting in the high 60s, 67, 68, 66, 67, 68. Let's first just turn on ray reconstruction and see what happens here. So I think it, we may be getting an extra frame or two on this. And I have to say that it looks much less blotchy um, with ray reconstruction enabled. Yeah, everything looks m just much more smoothed over. Wow. That's pretty amazing, I've got, I've got to say. It looks like less... There's so much, like, 
it, it just seems like much like the edges are much less defined in some ways. And I'm just going back and forth here because I want to see. Yeah, it just looks smoother. It just looks much smoother. And I think part of it is the texture of this ground is definitely making it much more warbly, sort of, <laughs> if, that's, if that's the right word for it. But yeah, let's take a look. Let's go into the overdrive mode and let's start off without ray reconstruction. Whoa, that looks way different. And yeah, of course, we're dropping into the 30s. That looks like way different. Wow, okay. And I'm not even gonna mess with this right now because I just wanna see what this looks like. Let's turn on ray reconstruction there. Wow, that whole surface looks completely, completely different between just uh, RT and path trace. RT Overdrive. Wow. And I think there's like more of a subtlety. Let's turn on quality. I mean, that looks so good. <laughs> of course, we're in the 40s, but once we let's turn on uh, let's turn on some frame generation. And let's see if we can stick at quality and see. And we're in the 70s. Man, that really, that path tracing really changed the whole ball game with uh, how this looks. That looks great. Now what I wanna do, now that we're doing this, oh man, this motion blur is crazy. So let's turn off motion blur and all this junk. So I want to find an area where there are more uh, clear reflections. So I'm just going to drive around until I can find um, an area like that. Man, this looks so good. Just the lighting is so good in this path tracing mode. I'm thinking up here we might get um, an area with... Uh... So am I correct in thinking that these do not reflect in the... Uh, anywhere? I guess that's, that is the case. Oh, here we go. Yeah, we can really see that clearly. So let's take a look and go to, let's go to RT Ultra. Let's go to quality, we'll turn off ray reconstruction and we'll also turn, uh, the, the menu's a little bit different. <laughs> so apologies. And let's take a look at what this looks like. So, Definitely, definitely a ray trace reflection, but kind of blurry. Let's see what this does to this. Wow. So that totally cleared, that completely cleared that up. Like that, that completely cleared up that reflection. That's unbelievable. Let's just try that one more time. So yeah, blurry. And not blurry. Amazing. <laughs> That's great. And let's see about RT Overdrive. Let's start without ray reconstruction. And once again, I mean, once again, the lighting is like so good around here, but blurry. And clear, that's, as far as I'm concerned, when you're at, uh, if you're at RT Ultra, if you're at RT, RT Ultra going from this, and let's just let's just see our frame rate in the high 60s the upgrade from this to this with the same performance is incredible like that's that's a major upgrade 
Like th that's that's incredible, and you know the game performs well. <laughs> So yeah, I think I think that's gonna be about it for this video. Um, I just wanted to take a quick look at the new implementation of ray reconstruction on. Oh my god! <laughs> on the non-path tracing modes, and it's really fantastic. It's great. What a great upgrade! And you know, CDPR. Lost a lot of goodwill with this game that they had built up with The Witcher 3. And the way they've come back and supported this game time after time for multiple years. Oh, look at this interesting pop in here. The way they've supported this game year after year has won them so much goodwill back that they might have lost. And that's tremendous. Good on them. Uh, I'm looking forward to their next game, which I guess is going to be another Witcher game, which is great. But anyway, that's about it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. Please uh, like and subscribe if you feel so inclined to do so. And uh, I'll see you next time.